Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for all things Charleston and beyond. I'm your host, Ashley Mazervi. It's Medical Monday here at East Cooper Medical Center and today we're discussing preconception planning for pregnancy, a process which prepares a woman's body for the demands that come with childbirth. Medical Monday, sponsored by East Cooper Medical Center. Joining us today, Dr. Laura Stickler. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Okay, so we're talking today about preconception planning for pregnancy. Correct. What is that? Well, a lot of ladies will come in for their annual exam and tell us that they have plans to conceive within the next year, but really, they should make a separate appointment to come in to talk to, talk, talk to their physician to make mm -hmm. sure they have ample time to address everything. And what we're doing at that appointment is reviewing their past medical history and making sure they don't have medical conditions that could complicate a pregnancy mm -hmm. or that the condition could become more complicated because of um, pregnancy. We wanna look at their family history and make sure that there's not a family history of birth defects, um, chromosomal abnormalities that could affect their pregnancy. Uh, make sure they're up to date with uh, immunizations that would be necessary uh, prior to pregnancy and then certainly reviewing hot topics like exercise during pregnancy, diet during pregnancy, uh, birthing options um, and what their desires for a delivery would be. So do, do you think that their significant other should be part of that? I don't, it's not 100% necessary because okay. it's hard to get one person to the office for an appointment exactly. but if they're available to come it would be helpful. One, just it's good for two sets of ears to hear recommendations and to review his family's medical history because it's not just the mom's family history that can play a role in pregnancy outcome but the spouse's family history as well. Talk about some of the things that may surprise people when they are going to this this appointment. Are they shocked at some of the things that they're gonna have to start doing now that they want to have a child? Right I think um, a lot of adults considering pregnancy Think it's easy to get pregnant and that it you know it's you, commitment it, it is I mean one just the act of trying to get pregnant can take longer um, and be more difficult you know we work a lot today a lot of uh, members of the of the community travel so they're not always available to their to their spouse um, so just talking about timing um, in order to, to get pregnant and then I think they don't you know you watch somebody be pregnant, you don't necessarily see all the complications that they're having during the pregnancy. Uh, so I don't know that uh, people are prepared to realize that they, maybe they're not healthy to begin with prior to conceiving. And yeah. so you're having to get real with them, right? Yeah. And tell them yeah. like, this is all the stuff's gonna happen to your body. This, yes. I, I know you're not trying to tell them not to have a child, but like, Hey. Well, right. I mean, you think things of, will never be the same. same. Right. <laughs> and you think of pregnancy as being a glorious event, which it is. I mean, it is a miracle, but your body changes significantly. And a lot of times women are not prepared for the physical um, stress that it, their, their, their bodies under. Uh, they're uncomfortable. They're, they have discomforts. And being fit prior to conceiving can really help with that. So the opportunity to talk about being at a healthy weight and to talk about what types of exercise and how mm -hmm. much exercise is safe during pregnancy can really, one, help them throughout the whole pregnancy it can help them with their labor and delivery and it can help them with their recovery period. Um, but that is definitely something that we hear a lot that these are the things that people don't tell yeah, you about all of before a sudden you get they're, pregnant. they're shocked. You know, right. I've heard some stories that I'm like, really that happens? Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so really it's you're giving a what to expect or what what to expect when you're expecting, right? Right. So right. this is just yeah. a precursor for the next appointment, which would be what? Their new obstetric appointment. So okay. once the couple has conceived, then they, they you call your provider's office and they get you scheduled for a new obstetric appointment, um, which is a longer appointment. It's usually one that the, the partner would wanna be at. Um, and uh, usually that's scheduled at about eight weeks. And then certainly you see somebody sooner mm -hmm. if they're having a complication already. So as an OBGYN, what is kind of your role in helping plan? I mean, aside from mm -hmm. looking at their history and all of that, Mm -hmm. How do you kind of take that through the whole process? Well, uh, when, uh, again, we kind of talk about the act of actually conceiving mm -hmm. and um, how like to make Like the best it. ways to conceive <laughs> and stuff. Well, the best, maybe like, here's the, what you need to do. More of the best timing okay, um, gotcha. and things like that. Making sure that they've got the appropriate dietary supplements like folic acid and a prenatal vitamin, mm -hmm. um, vitamin D and calcium, that they're, they've got a, a good multivitamin or a prenatal vitamin that's giving them all their needs. Um, the, I, th I find the biggest thing in our society today, and this shouldn't be a big surprise, is getting back to a healthy weight prior mm -hmm. to, to conceiving. Being at an unhealthy weight can uh, make it more difficult to conceive, and it can certainly increase complications as well as prematurity. Because uh, don't you think people think, oh, well, I'm going to get fat anyways, we might as well not worry about it, right? right. A lot of people think you're eating for two, and exactly. that that's okay. So it's um, important to talk about what the actual caloric needs for a pregnant mom are, and those, those vary depending on if you're starting out underweight, at weight, or overweight. 
All righty. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Stickler. And as always, you can go online for more information at eastcoopermedctr.com.